Hey guys and welcome back to the 411 on Tech. Today we're going to be reviewing the Retro Fighters Defender for the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. Also works with PC and Switch and others. Goes for $44.99 and we're going to get into the review right after this. So the Defender gamepad comes in a number of colors. Obviously you see here we have the gray, which kind of goes with the PlayStation 1. There's also a black version, which goes kind of with the PlayStation 2, which is nice. So you can match those up. And then we have some more funner colors. We have the blue and the green. And we both really like these. The blue, just because we like blue more. But it's a really nice, like, transparent kind of color. And it looks really high quality too so those are really nice so you get four different colors that you can choose from and the button layout so obviously you have your analog sticks you have your d-pad the d-pad and the analog sticks both feel really good uh, which is nice and then you have your face buttons that you're used to with like an xbox you have your xo triangle and square and then you also have a home button this is going to work with the switch as well so the home button is probably more so for that you also have your select and start button. You have a turbo and clear. And then obviously you have your shoulders, your triggers. And at the top here you have a screenshot button and a punch button. And we'll talk about the punch button more later. Um, also up here you have uh, the USB-C port for charging. And then on the back you have a pair button. And then also on the front um, you have your LED indicators. So on the back, um, it has like texture grips on the back, so that really makes it nice when you're in those heated gaming sessions, you got a little bit more to, to, to hold on to. Uh, as far as build quality, it's, it's really light, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna break. Like it, when I'm like trying to twist it, the build quality, there's no flexing. Um, it's very comfortable in the hand. And even like my size hands feels good. I think you, you yeah, thought mine, it felt, mine, felt good mine, as well. Yeah. I, I like the... Uh, the analog sticks, they, they feel pretty good, snap back into place uh, pretty good. I kind of think it looks like an Xbox controller, but with the PlayStation style analog um, analog sticks. I just think it's like maybe like a smaller, not as fat, like Xbox controller, with, again, with the analog sticks down there. Yeah. Uh, that's what I think it looks like. So, I like the D-pad a lot. Um, on the PlayStation controllers, like the DualShocks, like I didn't like how the buttons weren't connected, so I like one big connect, uh, connected like plus. Yeah, so like that. Yeah, so these are like just like you know individual. So this is much better for me for fighting games. All right, so let's talk about features. So this supports 2.4 gigahertz wireless, and it has 30 foot range. So you don't have to play, you know, a few feet away from your console anymore, tethered with a wire wired controller. So that's really nice. And it's compatible with a number of different consoles. You can use this with the PS1, PS2, PS3, the PlayStation Classic. You can also use it with PC and Switch. Now, one thing to note if you're using this with the PS Classic, you're only able to use the D-pad. The analog sticks are not going to work with the PlayStation Classic because that's only, it only supports D-pad. So just that's something to note if you are going to be using this with the PlayStation Classic. Now what you get in the box is, so you get a instruction manual, which is nice, and then they also tell you to, before you use your controller, make sure you charge it for two hours. I don't know how important that is, but they tell you, so just go ahead and do that. But it also comes with two dongles. So you have your dongle that will work for your PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 that goes into that proprietary controller port. And then you also have a USB one, so that'll work with your PC, the PS Classic, the Switch. So you have two different dongles here that you can use to wirelessly connect your controller to your console. And then you also get your charging cable, which is USB-C to USB-A. Now, you can get 10 hours of battery life with this controller. It's not crazy, it's not like, you know, a dual shock controller. You usually get like 30 hours or so but it's still enough to get you through, you know, a decent amount of gameplay. And it also supports vibration, which is nice. So any game that supports vibration, you'll get that with this controller. And also has support for turbo functionality. So in the instructions, it says, you know, you hold the circle and the turbo button and that, that maps your turbo button to the circle button. 
And at the top it has a punch button and what that does is activate uh, turbo functionality without having to hold the button down. So you hit the button you want to map and then you hold that punch button to set uh, auto turbo. And the buttons are pressure sensitive so if you're playing something like Gran Turismo you have pressure sensitive like accelerator and brake. Now it has these LED status lights so if the top one is lit up that's non-analog mode or player one. If the first two lights are lit up that's analog mode or player two. If the third light is lit up that's player three and if the fourth light is lit up that's PS, uh, the PS Classic or player four. So you have a nice LED status light that let you know what's going on. So now let's get into some gameplay. We're going to play some PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games on our PS3 that plays all PS1, 2, and 3 games and see how this performs. Okay guys, so here we are with the Retro Fighters Defender for the PlayStation. And we're going to be using our PlayStation 3 that's backwards compatible to PlayStation 1 and 2 with hardware emulation and it plays PlayStation 3 games obviously. Uh, to pair it, all you have to do is plug in the uh, USB dongle into your PlayStation and you hit the home button and ours is automatically paired but you may have to hit the pairing button on the back but ours paired up as soon as we hit the home button with the dongle plugged in. Okay so for PlayStation 1 we're going to play the original Gran Turismo. I'm going to kick off some arcade mode here. Single race, normal. Race with the Integra. Not too good with the shifting on the joystick, so I'm just gonna use automatic high speed ring. And in this game, it has the pressure sensitive face button, so for your accelerator, it'll be pressure sensitive. Alright, so land around the accelerator. Let's see how we do here. Got the vibration going. So that's nice, that feels good. Yeah, it's playing, playing pretty good. D-pad feels nice. Use that grass up. Go through the tunnel. Yeah, and, that, and I'm pressing it harder. It does feel like it's accelerating a little bit better or more acceleration. You gotta really mash it though. Don't shut me out, guys. Don't shut me out. Controller feels great. Definitely more comfortable than the, than the original. PlayStation 1 controller. Coming for the number one spot, no! So there's uh, Gran Turismo PlayStation 1 using the Retro Fighters Defender. That felt pretty good. The vibration, pressure sensitive buttons, and a D-pad felt nice playing the original Gran Turismo. Now we're moving to a PlayStation 2 game. We're gonna play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. All right, so here we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the PlayStation 2. We had to fire up the PlayStation 2. Get this going and we're wireless. We got the PlayStation 1 and 2 dongle plugged in here. Oh. All right, and I can get my Hadoukens going. Tornado kick. Everything feeling good here. More versus Capcom 2, PlayStation 2, wireless, no more wired connection. And it's playing good. I can do all the moves and the buttons feel good. The D-pad feels good. And there you have it, More versus Capcom 2, PlayStation 2. Alright, so here we are playing Star Wars The Force Unleashed, a PlayStation 3 game. On the, uh, we're up, like on Kashyyyk here. Force powers. And I had a little bit of slowdown right there. Collecting these shots. Playing pretty well. Using the uh, analog sticks to move. Playing definitely more comfortable and playing just as well as I remember playing with the uh, the DualShock 3. Except for this is way more comfortable. And I like the texture grips on the back. So we gotta remember where to go here. I think I'm gonna force blast through here. 
But yeah, playing PlayStation 3. Analog sticks feel good. Control the camera with the other stick. Get up for the action cam. Playing, playing great, guys. So definitely, we have PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, and it obviously works on other systems too, but this is definitely a, a, a good controller. It's comfortable, only like thing, you have to 10 hours battery life for the little on the light side, but while you're playing, there's no better way to play PlayStation. It's, it's definitely a, a good controller for PlayStation. All right, guys, so that's our review for the Retro Fighters Defender controller. As you can see, it plays really, really good with your PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. You can also even use it with your PC and your Switch. So it's really versatile and it's only $44.99. It feels great. I really like the rubber, um, the grip texture in the back because my hands get a little sweaty. So that's really nice. And then the buttons and everything played well. You saw Damien play and you liked it. Everything played pretty well. Yeah, it was playing great. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we definitely recommend picking this up if you're interested. So we'll go ahead and put the link down at the bottom for where you can get this and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.